Designs by Amanda. Today we're going to do a card. I have the pieces all cut out. I'll tell you exactly what I did. And um, and then we're going to just assemble it together and do our stamping here. So what I started with um, is out of the paper pumpkin kit for March of 2018, we got free um, wood, wood embellishments. Well, I went ahead and I, um, I Em emboss them, heat emboss them with the copper. I have copper and silver that I did because at first I was going to do copper and then I was like, no, I want to do some blue color, so let's do silver. But now the colors that I ended up with, I think we might go back to the copper. I'm not sure, but so we'll decide as we put the card together. But these are um, what they look like. What I did was I just took my Versamark ink and flipped the flipped the wood side onto my ink pad, pushed it down a little bit put it into my little, I use a coffee filter, I sit it, the, I put the thing in the coffee filter, dumped it on, picked it up with either tweezers or needle nose pliers, and then I would sit it down on another one, obviously on a, a surface that was okay to have some heat on, um, and I would just hold it in place with my tweezers or needle nose pliers and hold it there while I, um, heat embossed it because they do they are light so as if you just sat it there it would just push it around <laughs> and now i was having some issues there <laughs> but um but it did work um and after i got it um situated with my um pliers there it helped a lot and i did do them twice so i i did them let them cool put them back on my versa mark covered them with more powder and did it again um, the silver seems to have bubbled a little more. The copper turned, or is it copper or bronze? Yeah, the copper turned out nice. I really liked the way it was pretty smooth. The silver's not bad though. I don't mind the the um, the markings in there. They it still look pretty neat. I like. This. For my um, okay, my pieces of paper here, I used my um, stitch framelits, and I used the square ones. I used all of them except for the little one. Um, so I used my, those with my Big Shot and cut out all my pieces. So what I did was from my, um, my back background piece, I have a Whisper White um, card base, I have a piece of Pool Party that I cut at five and a quarter by th four inches, and then I cut out with the big, with the big die a square, because I was going to just say, well, I, I'm going to cover it with a piece of designer series paper. I want that piece. Well, it ended up that I'm going to layer it with that. So I have that piece. And then I have a designer series paper that is cut out in a, a quarter of an inch smaller than the outside one. And I was like, well, I'm going to cover it with this piece. So I might as well die cut it out and save some of my designer series paper for another project. Then I layered it again. I'm like, oh, I like that. <laughs> so I ended up layer wanting to layer it. Oops. Yeah. Layer it like that. And there we have a multi layer. And it looks really cool. And then I took a piece of um, watercolor paper and I just cut it out with a, the small, the second to the smallest square and we're going to put that right on top there and we're going to stamp the flower from the paper pumpkin so if you don't have the march 2018 paper pumpkin um, stamp set you can always use another flower that will fit into that square we're going to use um i don't have pool party ink um i have a soft sky but i don't really want to use soft sky on this because that would be too light um, I'm thinking about doing blends with it, so I might want to do my memento. Um, or do I want to leave it plain? Hmm. No, let's do the memento, because we're going we're going we're going to blend use the blends for this to color in this um, flower. So get out the memento, and I am going to go ahead and use my stamp and pierce mat, since I have a photopolymer stamp here. And I'm just gonna get it best it looks for on there. There, that's nice. We'll let that sit to dry a moment. Um, and we're gonna use the light pumpkin pie. 
the and the two calypso coral um, and see how those go for our coloring. Um, I like to start with my lightest color, which looks like it would be the pumpkin pie. Um, and I'm going to just put some of that down. It stands out a little bit more compared to the um, lighter background paper, but that's okay. And um, and I really think that I might like the. I don't want to do that though. That's too busy. I'm gonna do probably these on top there. So let's go ahead and layer this card up. So on the, the flower, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up. I know that this card is gonna be hand delivered, so I don't have to worry about um, having too much dimension going on it. So it can be um, up, up and higher, and I think I might tuck some of the embellishments like, underneath this to see um, a different um, heights. It have some different um, heights going. stamping um, with my flower stamp um, from the paper pumpkin kit. You could always use some ferns that you might have from other kits. Um, I don't know that I'm going to take the time right now to go looking for other kits. Um, I think the color I'm going to go with is soft sky because it is pretty close to pool party um, and I want it to be light on the inside. and thank you for coming to create with me today. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!